when a person experiences advanced liver failure due to cardiogenic shock, poisoning, overdose, or some other cause, and the liver stops filtering toxins from the body, there is little that medical personnel can do for them. Liver transplant is the only option, and that's not a good option for everyone. But what if there was a way to filter the liver, similar to the very successful dialysis treatment for ailing kidneys, so that the liver could heal itself? The liver is one of the organs with a really, uh, with a really high ability to regenerate from failure. In Penn State Hershey Heart and Vascular Institute's intensive care unit, an interdisciplinary team of specialists is using a system called MARS therapy to support patients in liver failure and give them a chance to recover. MARS is a therapy that we offer here at Hershey. It's um, unique in that it's, we are the only hospital that offers it here in central Pennsylvania. And what it basically is, is a liver dialysis, similar to what a kidney dialysis is. MARS can, have, uh, can be helpful in, in a broad variety of liver issues, like poisoning, drug overdose, like hepatic encephalopathy, like pruritus caused by bile acids. The Heart and Vascular Institute has advanced a legacy of device research. With the development of its mechanical circulatory support program, Penn State Hershey can offer patients potentially life-saving devices like left ventricular assist devices and therapies like ECMO to support the heart and lungs, CRT to support the kidneys, and now MARS. Patients that would have presented to us in acute liver failure would have not had an option uh, previously before the uh, therapy of MARS. Those patients would have, have died, but now along with ECMO, um, CRT, uh, we now have MARS therapy, which helps to support the multi-system organ failure. The MARS is able to support the liver's detoxification function, and by basically filtering these toxins uh, out of the patient's blood. While MARS is an advanced therapy that requires many specialties to work together for the patient, at Hershey, it's the direct care nurses like Dezina who lead the charge. We have specific nurses in our unit that have been trained, um, and we're also in the process now of getting all of our ICU nurses trained in the use of MARS therapy. To have that knowledge and, and be able to perhaps uh, have a patient benefit from those modalities is, is definitely a sense of pride amongst the nurses in the, the HVI. I think MARS has a significant potential to help patients with a variety of liver issues. We have the chance here at Hershey Medical Center to build the evidence basically.